Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the behavior of IPAS RC circuit with ramp input. It is another type of input to verify the operation of IPAS RC circuit, how the capacitor behaves in the IPAS circuit when a ramp input is applied, similar to the low pass RC circuit. See, this is the high pass RC circuit, you know, first the capacitor is given and later resistor is there across which we are taking the output. V i of t is the input voltage varying with respect to time, nothing but ramp input we are giving in this case, ramp signal and i of t is the current flowing through the circuit, here c and r capacitor resistors respectively and v naught of t here it is nothing but the output voltage across resistor we are taking. Now see here, this is the input signal we are giving for this type of circuit and it is the output. See, output is almost following the input signal but after some time there is a deviation from input to the output. So deviation from the linearity, this is the y equal to mx plus c. But here the output of course up to this particular point we are saying that we can say that the output is followed actually whatever the shape that the input has. But after some time the output is deviated from the original path and later if you are having the time constant RC is very small compared to the T input signal period then in the beginning itself after few nanoseconds or microseconds the input is different and output waveforms are different. Output waveform is very much deviated from the input. So error is more here but here the error is less because it is taking very small deviation and this type of small deviation occurs when RC is greater than greater than T. So remember this is applicable for only this ramp signal. Okay. So the first waveform which is having a very small deviation that is given as RC given when RC is very far greater than T and when RC is very less there will be a maximum deviation because the input goes like the Y equal to MX plus C but here the output is taking deviation like exponential signal. Now so let us assume the input signal as V i of T is equal to a ramp signal we can say it is alpha t. So apply Laplace transform, apply Laplace transform, then v i of s is equal to here. What happens? Alpha by t becomes s square, alpha by s square. Now apply Laplace transform to the figure we have considered here. So the, then it becomes V i of s and it becomes 1 by C s and it becomes i of s and this is same r as it is and it is V naught of s. So from this figure we can write it as V naught of s is equal to V i of s into r by r plus 1 by C s r by r plus 1 by c s that is equal to v a of s is nothing but alpha by s square and it is r by r plus 1 by c s. If you just uh, take the LCM in the denominator and uh, take it to the numerator then alpha by s square into uh, it becomes r c s divided by 1 plus r c s. Okay, so now this S square is yes, cancelled and we are having alpha RC into 1 by S into S plus 1 by RC. See what is here. So here if you take RC common then 1 by RC and here it is we are having the denominator RC. So finally, it will be alpha by S into S plus 1 by RC. Okay, we know how to separate this 
s into s plus 1 by r c means this is apply partial differential partial fractions apply partial fractions okay then what happens 1 by s into s plus 1 by r c becomes a by s plus b by s plus 1 by r c so keeping s is equal to 0 one time and keeping s is equal to 1 minus 1 by r c then simply b naught of s is equal to alpha 1 factor r c will come 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 1 by r c okay you know apply inverse for laplace transform apply inverse laplace transform so when inverse laplace transform is applied it becomes v naught of s becomes v naught of t is equal to alpha rc alpha rc is a constant and 1 by s becomes 1 minus it is 1 by s plus 1 by rc so e power minus t by rc e power minus t by rc this is what the expression we have got when a ramp input is applied at the input of the this particular high pass rc circuit okay so for time t which are very small in comparison with rc because rc is very very small suppose assume that rc is very small uh, time t is very small compared to the rc we have for times t which are very small in comparison with rc we have so now what happens v naught of t is equal to alpha rc into 1 minus <coughs> c expand this e power minus x so what happens 1 plus minus t by rc plus minus t by rc whole square into 1 by 2 2 factorial plus minus t by rc whole cube into 1 by 3 factorial plus and so on okay then that is equal to neglect the higher order terms as the condition is we have taken t which is very small comparison with respect to rc so 1 minus 1 cancelled t by rc minus t square by rc 2 rc square plus and so on so take first two terms then alpha rc into t my t by rc minus t square by 2 rc square substitute with the alpha rc but from above equation now we have c rc rc get cancelled r alpha t and it becomes rc rc cancel then alpha t square by 2 rc alpha t square by 2 rc this is what the output voltage equation when we are having a ramp input like that okay and we have also seen what happens when rc is very small compared to the input signal period and rc is very high compared to the input signal period now the deviation whatever we have seen from the input to the output that deviation we need to calculate nothing but error okay see the see here this is the deviation we can call it as error this error we can calculate it as the deviation or error can be expressed as the difference between input and output voltage 
input and output voltage divided by input voltage divided by input voltage okay then error e is equal to we can write it here error e is equal to v n minus v naught divided by v n this all happens at t equal to t capital t nothing but after completing one cycle so v in v in what is the input voltage for the ramp signal alpha t minus v naught is the above calculation okay again vi is nothing but alpha t so alpha t minus alpha t into 1 minus t by 2 rc if you take alpha t in common here see alpha t if you take this common we can write it as alpha t 1 minus t by 2 rc okay so now the denominator it is alpha t so if you multiply here alpha t alpha t cancel i will again write one more step alpha t alpha t plus t by 2 rc by alpha t so that is equal to first two terms cancelled t t cancel uh, what we have t by this all happens at t is equal to capital t we have taken this condition in the beginning itself here okay so t by 2 rc t by 2 rc because alpha get cancelled t gets cancelled and we are having 2 rc that is equal to we know t is nothing but 1 by f and rc is nothing but where rc is equal to 1 by 2 pi fl 1 by 2 pi fl so we can substitute this in this equation t by 2 rs v not of t is equal to so v not of t is equal to finally what we have calculate uh, sorry what is this error sorry sorry this is error not uh, sorry we can erase this this is error e here also error e so e we can write it as e is equal to substitute this here t by 2 into 1 by 2 pi fl 1 by 2 pi fl so 2 2 cancel pi t fl pi t fl what is fl lower cut off frequency of the higher pass filter this is what the error this is what the error we have so error is nothing but the deviation between the input signal and the output signal we are expecting the input signal like this but the output waveform it goes like this but with a deviation this is the error we have calculated now how to calculate it v in minus v out by v in okay this is about the application of ramp signal to the high pass rc circuit thank you